Okay, so let's take a look at week three's debug challenge. Uh, so we've got some code here that represents a Monte Carlo simulation model. Um, and our instructions tell us that the model is a simplification of a stroke treatment pathway at a hospital. Patients must be treated with, within 180 minutes of the onset of their symptoms. And there's a process that they go through. Uh, patients must be brought to the hospital by ambulance. They must be seen in the ED by a doctor. They must undergo a CT scan to check their brain injury. And they must be clinically assessed by a stroke medical doctor. Um, and they must not have any additional illnesses that prevent treatment. Okay, so they need to be treated with one, within 180 minutes and then there's a probability that they may have further medical problems that prevent treatment. So NumPy has been used to implement this model. Um, so we've used a variety of sampling distributions using num, numpy.random. Um, and we've used NumPy in a way that means we've not got many explicit for loops within there. So we've managed to use the sampling functions in a clever way. Uh, but the code does not run. Can you fix it? So we've got a bit of additional information this week and it says there are three bugs in the code. And the third error is a logic error. And unfortunately, it sounds like it is very difficult to find that error. Okay, so that's probably an error that's going to be a silent error where we run the code and we're going to get an answer. And we're going to think that answer is correct, but actually it's not because there's a hidden mistake in there. Okay, so that means we've got to test our code and try and figure out where that mistake is. So let's have a look at the module first. Um, so there's quite a lot of code in this module. So uh, what I recommend you do in Spider is go to View, Panes, and click on the Outline option or press Control shift o to pick that up. And that loads this window here. So this gives us a list of all of the functions within our debug challenge module. So we can see we've got a main function, which we'll take a look at. Then we've got a whole load of sampling functions. So sample patients, sample onset to arrival, sample ED delay. Um, and then we've got a run model. So I'm going to have a look at the main function first. So we click on that and it will take us to it. Let's just close that for a second. So what's going on? Okay, so we can see that uh, that looks like we're setting the model input parameters here. So we can see there's a treatment deadline of 180 minutes. We can see the um, arrival time parameters, so the mean onset to arrival, the mean, the standard deviation of the onset to arrival. And then we're setting all of these parameters and then we're getting down to here and we're running the model with a function called run model. We're passing in those parameters, returning the results. And then we're calling a function called results summary, which prints the results out to the screen. Okay, so there was one other function I thought we should take a quick look at, which is run model. Okay, and there it is. Um, so it runs the Monte Carlo simulation. We can see that from the doc string. It takes two keyword arguments, the params, which is the parameters for statistical distributions. So our mean and standard deviations are various things. Um, and then no replications, which is the number of independent replications we're going to run with this simulation model. And the default is 10,000. Okay, so let's have a look at this function. So it's not, it's not too complicated. So we're creating um, a NumPy array to store our results in. Then we've got a for loop. Um, so we're basically going to repeat this code in there um, however many replications we're going to run. So this is the main model logic and we're going to run that for X number of replications. So it looks like we're sampling the number of patients using this function sample patients. So we're sampling the onset to arrival, the ED delay time, the CT scanning time, the assessment time, and then we're adding all of that up. 
And so I suspect each of these variables is a NumPy array. And we're adding all of those up to get the on OTT, which is onset to treatment time. Um, and then we're calculating the patients that are in time and the patients that are eligible for treatment and storing that in the results. Okay, so I'm also going to have a look at one of the... So do you notice I've not run the code yet? So I'm just trying to have a look at what's happening in the code before I run it. So I've got an idea of if we get an error, what that, what that error might be. So I'm just going to pick one of these at random. I'm going to pick um, sample onset OTA. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so sample OTA takes two keyword arguments, params and patients, and it samples the onset to arrival time, and it re returns a NumPy array um, of samples, and its size of that NumPy array will be the number of patients. Okay, so we're calling the NumPy random module and the gamma function. We're passing in the, don't worry too much about this, but these are shape and scale parameters of the gamma distribution, and we're passing in how many samples we want to take. So if we've got 10 patients, we want to return 10 samples from the gamma distribution, which represents 10 onset to arrival times. Okay, let's close that down. So when we get down to this code here, what we know is onset to arrival, this OTA variable here is a NumPy array, and it's gonna be of size patients. Okay, so we do that for a number of delays and then we sum all of that up here. Excellent, so OTT is also a NumPy array. Great, okay, so I think I understand how this code works. So let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so this is a debug challenge, so as you expect, there's an error. Um, so we've got an attribute error, Monte Carlo parameters object has no attribute mode scan time. Okay, and that's occurring in um, line 169. Okay, so that's in the sample CT scan function. And let's have a look in there. So this that's sampling from a triangular distribution. Um, a triangular distribution takes parameters left, mode and right. Um, so that looks quite reasonable to me. So this, the, the modal scan time, the most common scan time, and it's saying it doesn't recognize that attribute. So that probably means that when this was defined, um, we a different name was used or there was a typo in the name. So I suspect it was defined where we saw originally in the, um, oops, lazy. let's just go straight up to the top, in the main function. Yes, here we go. So time spent in the CT scanner is a triangular distribution. And you can see we've set the min, the mode, and the max. But importantly, the mode contains a spelling mistake, OK, a typo. So we're just missing the A there. So again, a common error. So watch out for that. OK, so we've run the code again. And we get a new error, uh, which is occurring uh, on line 241. There's an index error. Index 1000 is out of bounds for axis zero with size 1000. OK, so it's probably some sort of problem with a NumPy array where we are um, using an index that's actually bigger than the array. OK, so it's to do with the results array. And we're passing in the value of rep. So rep is going from zero to the number of replications. Okay, so that sounds sensible. So how have we defined results? We've defined results here. Okay, so a num results is a NumPy array that stores results for each of the replications. Okay, so I can see what the problem is here. We've created a NumPy array um, of size 1000 when actually we were supposed to create a NumPy array of size number of replications. Okay, so that was probably when whoever was writing this code um, was initially testing it, they used 1000 replications. Um, and then when they edited their function, they forgot to update that line of code. That's pretty common. So let's run the code. Okay, and we get an answer. 
So we get um, a weekly treatment rate. Uh, we get a mean, a standard error, and a middle 90%. Great. But we do have a bit of extra information that we wouldn't normally have when we're debugging code, and that is that there are three bugs in this code. Um, and actually, uh, what we've got is um, uh, two bugs. We found two bugs. So if you're doing this for real, you might be trying to recreate the performance of a straight pathway. So you might know in reality what the performance of that straight pathway is, and, and you're trying to recreate that with a model before you test out some changes to it. So you may find that your mean, for example, is, is two or three percentage points wrong. Um, so you would go back and go through your code with a fine tune code to try and find it. Or you may have tested each of these functions very carefully. So you may have tested your sample patients function to make sure it's returning the correct number of patients that you would expect or the correct distribution of patients. So what we're going to do is very simply, we're going to look at these NumPy arrays. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to print out um, the shape of these NumPy arrays to make sure we're getting the right number of points for each. So I'm just using the shape attribute of these print ct times of shape. And print Okay. Put space there just to clean it up. So this is just to check am I getting the right number of um, samples from each of these distributions. So let's run that. Oh, that's interesting. I've, I've hit an error. So let's just scroll up and see what we got out. So we did get some output. So it was telling me that for some of these variables, there was, it was returning 22, a sample of 22 for each. However, we do hit this error on line 236, where a variable of type float has no attribute error shape. So remember, the shape attribute is um, specific to a NumPy array, and it returns effectively the size of that array. How big is it? OK, so it's telling me that assessment time is actually a float and not a NumPy array. OK, so let's find that function. and go to assess duration. Okay, so sample the duration of a clinical assessment and return a NumPy array of sample size equals patients. That makes sense. So what are we doing? So we're using the random uniform function. Okay, that makes sense. And we've got a low value for that. And we've got a high value for that. Ah, But what we haven't done is we haven't sampled multiple values. So if you look, for example, at sample CT scan time and uh, sample ED delay, they have a final parameter in their sampling method, which is size. And that's really what we should have included here. So this is just an oversight, perhaps when we were writing the code. We forgot to do it. Oh. There we go. So it looks like that worked. And now what we've got is output that looks very similar, but we do know that this is now actually returning a NumPy array and not a float because we've got all these tuples that have come out of it. So if we just get rid of these little logical checks we've got in here, There we go. We get our Monte Carlo answer and we found our very difficult logic error. So I'll be very impressed if people manage to find that error. Um, but it's really just to learn about that sometimes your code runs and there's an error in there that's a silent error. And you might not find out about it until you do some real serious checking of your code.